hold of my ears and tight to boot. That's never a good sign. That sounds weird out of context. <laughs> Did you know the communists have an organ behind your eyes that converts salt water into fresh? Or, wait, is that penguins? That's penguins. Be nice if we could do that, but no, that's penguins. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were uh, in the sink. Uh, we, I don't think I ended at the sink. Uh, last episode, but I decided we were going to go after the uh, divide. But first, I had to set up all of my stuff, but I got most of that done. I have a good stockpile of the ammo I'll need. Well, I mean, need as in what will last me until I need to come back and grab more. But I'm pretty good with what I got right now. Uh, not too overweight with it. Not, I didn't go too nuts with uh, the 12.7, but I should be pretty good for my uses. Uh, that said, I also grabbed some salient green because I realized on the fly if I need to make fruits or vegetables or whatever, I can just use the salient green to do that. Uh, as long as I don't fuck up. <laughs> if I fuck up, then I'd have to come all the way back, convert Money. it into plant, yeah. plant matter again. Right. Not too seedy, but hey, nobody's perfect. The way you said that was a little odd. Anyway, yeah, my nose is stuffing up again. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> there we go. And if I have to do that whole entire trek for every time I screw up, that will not be fun. But, that said, I have a feeling it probably won't have to. I have set up uh, some, I think it was banana yucca and jalapeno peppers for gecko kebabs, should I need them later. And I probably will. <laughs> Although I think I have a lot of gecko kebabs in uh, reserve anyway. I do. I have like 18. But I have more supplies to make more should I need to. Uh, we got gecko steaks as well, which are not as good as the kebabs. Honestly, I'm a little annoyed that I had completely forgotten about the kebabs. But then again, I wasn't going to be able to do them until I got survival to a higher rate anyway. So, made a couple more ghost sites. Got a uh, few more things set up. Uh, yep, we got some purified water here. Got pretty much everything I'll need for the foray into the divide anyway. Uh, I keep saying anyway. I should stop. <laughs> Alright. Onward we go again. Everyone should be at the lucky 38. All my companions anyway. Well... Didn't expect you to be right here. You're going to make fast travel difficult, so away you go. Alright. And time to head to the canyon wreckage. So we can begin the Lonesome Road. That's a DLC name. I completely forgot about it for five seconds. <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh, that was rather easy to get around. Also, why is that one going backwards? <laughs> I find that a little odd. Oh, he's not happy with me. It's alright. It's alright, buddy. I'm just gonna take these. That, uh, MRE, which is a military ration, um, gives me a lot of food. And I think there's a better way for me to use them as well, but I don't right recall them offhand. There we go. And I had a feeling it was running at me from behind, so I wanted to avoid it as much as possible. Lonesome Road. The coordinates you received lead you to this canyon filled with storm-tossed wreckage. Beyond lies the divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced couriers, which are level 25 or higher, which I am very much so. You cannot take companions with you on the road ahead, nor bring any you find with you out. You can carry whatever equipment and gear you have with you without restriction, however. 
unlike, you know, Honest Hearts, where you had to have, I think, a weight limit of, it was first 80 and then 105, I think. I, I, I might be wrong on that. But, uh, yeah, it was, there was a weight limit there. Um, you had all your equipment taken away from you in the Sierra Madre, and, yeah, you had pretty much all you had to carry on you in Old World Blues. So, you had to plan ahead for that. If the journey proves too difficult, or you need to reach supply, you can retrace your steps and return to the Mojave at any time. If you are prepared, then continue on into the storms of the, the Divide. History awaits. Alright. Walk the Lonesome Road. There we go. And here we begin. It doesn't look all that impressive, but it, it there is a lot of storms going on out there. Poison removed? What do you mean, poison removed? I had no poison on me, I think. Did I? I don't know. Alrighty. Quest added, the silo. Alright. Yeah, see those red lights there? Used to be a military installation out there, I think, if I remember right. I'm not quite sure on half of this. I've only completed this once. <laughs> I think I can head up here. Stuff I can look at up here, yeah. Not a lot. There's a duffel bag. Oh, and a uh, dead guy. Hey, buddy. I'm just going to take your stuff here, if you don't mind. Uh, we got some 25 rounds of 5mm, which is usable. Got some bottle caps. Don't know why he was carrying bottle caps uh, if he was pre-war. If he's post-war, then that makes sense. Uh, we got cat eyes, leather belts. I don't know if there's things I can use that for, but I might as well carry it just on the off chance I'm wrong. And that pretty much covers everything that's here. Alright, down we go again. And onward we go towards insanity. Well, eventual insanity. I should use the right weapon. There we go. This gun will carry me through the rest of the game. I hope you're aware of that. This gun is amazing. That's why it costs so fucking much to get it. Alright. There's nothing else I'm missing out here. Hopeville Silo Bunker Entrance. Told you there's a military installation. This is Hopeville Ballistic Defense Station. Authorized military personnel only. Told ya. Alright. Into the silo we go. As there's only one other way to get down there. And... There we are. Er, er, I should avoid that if at all possible. That... That'd be deadly. Lonesome Road. The door opened for me. That's nice, but why? I'm not trusting this. As well I shouldn't. Alright. Uh, grab that pre-war money. That'll do. And I did turn on my uh, little Pip-Boy light, as it will help visibility, but if you guys still can't see, then uh, there's not much else I can do. Oh, hey! Programmer's Digest, which is good to have. Silo Blast Door Controls. Uh, yeah. Console controls access to the silo itself, but it is encrypted beyond your ability to hack. Don't I have a hundred? I can swear I had a hundred. You will need to find something that can break the encryption in order to proceed. Alright, then that makes sense, I guess. Even if I'm at 100, I'd still need a, uh, still need a password to get through. Uh, maintenance access level 3. Uh, let's look at the status. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's about what we expected. I don't know what I expected, but that's about what we should have. Uh, status log. Main power offline emergencies power standby 
Level one, non-operational. Uh, security messengers inactive. All of them are inactive and non-operational. Huh. So let's open the door and see if we can change that. Um, that's water. It sounded like something else. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Hey! Hey, do you recognize that? Any of you recognize that? That's our buddy. Well, it's a different version of our buddy, but it's our buddy nonetheless, Eddie. Hey, <laughs> uh, he's going to join us on our little adventure. And this is the Arc Welder, which is not really that good a weapon. I found. I mean, it's decent if you have to. Breathing mask. That one you might actually need in the divide. So, yep. there we go. Perfect. You can't, you know, get away with anything else out here. So, breathing mask will have to be what you wear. There we go. Although, it gets rid of the DT that I have for my helmet. But, eh. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, weird that I can repair it with sunglasses. <laughs> it is so weird. But, there we go. I should be able to rotate it. There we go. That's... Yeah, the breathing mask will allow me to go through the divide with relatively minimal damage. Okay. And, yep, these are little things where other eddies would have been posted. Okay. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything before I proceed. I don't want to be yelled at in the comments. Even though I'd probably be yelled at regardless for something stupid I did. Okay. I think everything else is picked up. I don't want to pick that up mainly because it weighs a lot. It's valuable, yes, but I don't want to pick it up because it weighs a lot. <laughs> okay. And... Oh! I didn't realize that was an actual full bottle. Examine poster. Ralphie! Feel like a kid again. Find all the Ralphie the <laughs> robot posters in the divide. Ralphie, the robot's incredible odyssey. Alright, maintenance bot control. Yeah, this is what uh, the iBots used to be, I guess. They used to be just maintenance bots, or maybe this is just a new Vegas flavor sort of thing, and possibly Bethesda retconned that like they did the cats. <laughs> uh, pod status... Uh, locked. Again, I don't know what I expected. I should have expected that. Uh, department log. Yep, for the, that's for the department in general. Commissary notice. The automated com... com uh, <laughs> shit. Dude. Okay. The automated commissary system has been locked down until further notice. It turns out that the counterfeit proof pay chits we've been issuing you are exactly the same size and shape as ordinary bottle caps. <sighs> you didn't plan that far ahead, did you? <sighs> you gotta love the military. Until we can correct the problem, you'll have to make your purchases the old-fashioned way. Well, that sucks. For them, not for me, because that means I can use my stuff. Reminder. This is just a reminder that... Oh, <coughs> oh, sorry, my throat decided to try and kill me there. This is just a reminder that all base commissary terminals draw from the same central depository. Please do not waste your time or the technicians' by running from commissary to commissary. You won't get any more whiskey than you did from the first one. I don't know why my voice keeps cracking. <laughs> Alright, let's unlock the pod. There we go. And let's release our buddy Eddie. That doesn't look good. I'll be honest. Whoa. Geez. I'm pretty sure that's... some kind of memory glitch. 
<laughs> no, it wasn't your boot up sequence, it was a recording. Something about someone called Ralphie. Evasive beeping. Probably just some old data floating around in your memory. Nothing to worry about. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, that was clearly like a little snippet from the movie that might have been installed somewhere in his hard drive. Probably. <laughs> Alright, I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? Yay, Mr. I get the enhanced sensor. I bought DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. That's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic security? Only panels with a dish-shaped uh, receiver, which we did see in there. The console in the main room had one of those. Yep. There we go. Was that the voice of your creator? What happened to him? Well, he's probably long dead by now, honestly. Depending on what time the uh, recording was made. Uh, I'm sure he's fine wherever he is. Let's just lie to the little robot. Maybe you'll see him again someday. Again, let's just lie to the robot. Why not, I guess. Okay, let's keep moving. Hey, there we go. So, this is pretty much functionally the same as Eddie. Uh, more or less. Now, there are upgrades that we can get for this one that will transfer over to the one in the Mojave once I get them here. They seem to... They seem... They seem to share, that's what I meant to say, but my brain decided to have a stroke. But... <laughs> they seem to share a... Uh, data link of some kind. So pretty much everything that this one knows, the other one knows, and vice versa. So, that's uh, lucky for me. Doesn't necessarily make total sense, but it works for me <laughs> at the very least. Oh, I just realized there's a commissary right there. I might as well grab it. Let's sell it! I forgot he had to unlock those. <laughs> And, uh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and, uh, it does also have a universal repair interface, which makes it easier and better to repair my stuff here than it would be elsewhere. Do I still have Thump Thump? I didn't mean to still have Thump Thump. Uh, whatever. Access Commissary. I can at least repair my stuff and then get the caps that I spend doing that back, I think. I might be wrong on that. <laughs> Okay. Some good stuff here. I might as well grab what I can. Or at least some of the stuff I can. There we go. Get that. Definitely grab those. Absolutely. I can never have too much of those. Um, the arc welder, which has an EMP, which is extra damage against robots and power armor, but you don't run into that situation where you need it all that often. So you're better off just getting rid of most of those sort of weapons. Uh, well, at least unless you're assaulting the uh, Brotherhood of Steel, in which case, then you could use those weapons. But until that point, you're not going to have that much use for them. Alright, I don't remember carrying Thump Thump. I could have sworn I dumped him, dumped it, rather, in the uh, safe. I could have sworn I did that. Ah, well, either way. It's fine with me. I'm just gonna double check that I yeah, didn't accidentally carry anything extra with me because I could have sworn I dealt with the stuff earlier. Ah, well. Let's just get all that taken care of. There we go. Perfect. And we're good. Onward towards the next one. Or the next little interface for Eddie. 
There we go. I didn't realize that things had closed behind me. There we go. Same little dish as the commissary. There we go. Use Eddie to break the encryption on the blast door terminal. And I gotta turn the silo's power back on. Ah. Uh, there's a bunch of little Eddies there. Also, that looks like a nuke. That has an old world flag. Um, states. So, yeah, that has the United States emblem on the side, which is weird to have on a nuke. Uh, maybe you just want them to know who threw that at your face, I guess. I mean, well, that uh, coincides with MAD. Uh, mutually assured destruction. Ooh, there's some stuff over here I didn't notice. Nice. And grab that and that and these. Perfect. I don't think I can make a uh, repair kit right now. Maybe later. Alright, now that I can go through here, I should do that. But I'm going to end the episode here for right now because I'm a little bit over time. And I might actually be able to record a second episode this session. Yay! And if only I can get rid of the stuffy nose. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and finally getting our way into Lonesome Road and the Divide for you.